today I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly set up your um, your Facebook catalog to connect it to your Squarespace e-commerce store so that they're automatically uploaded and synced to your Facebook catalog, which you can then use for Instagram shopping. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And remember, this is specifically for those who are selling through Squarespace. Real quick before we jump in, if you already have a catalog created and aren't sure if it's set up properly, one way to check is if you go um, from your business manager dashboard, if you go into catalogs under assets, open up your catalog manager, and here under, well, find the right, find your catalog that you have set up already, open that up, and then go into product or sorry in event data sources and under diagnostics if it says anything that along these lines of um, these events can't be retargeted this means that your catalog isn't set up properly with your Squarespace site and your Squarespace store so we want to get that fixed and I'm going to go over how to do that today as well as going um, I'm also going to go over if you haven't already set up a catalog how to do this from scratch so the easy way to do this is with SquareFeed. Um, this is a paid account, a paid subscription. It's about $18 to $50 a month, depending on the size of your account. Um, if you have under a thousand different products, then you can go with $18 per month. Um, it's pretty easy to set up. Sorry about that. It's pretty easy to set up. You will need to put in your Squarespace site URL. So I have this already open here. I'll just copy and paste it. Your name your email, come up with a password, and then select your role, and sign up. And then you select your plan. Again, you can use for under a thousand products, you can use $18. If you have over up to 3,000 products, 35 or 67 per month for up to 10,000 products. So select your plan and check out and subscribe okay once you do once you do that um, I've already done this so I'll just go to my dashboard all right it'll take you here to the dashboard um, before we get here um, go into your business manager so this is your business manager dashboard if you're not sure how to go get here just go to business.facebook.com and if you have multiple accounts you'll need to find the correct one once you select the correct business manager, you'll be in your dashboard. Okay, and now we want to go to click on your little hamburger menu in the top left hand corner, go to all tools and under assets, select catalog. So let's create a catalog, select e-commerce, select um, upload product info, make sure you select the right business manager if you don't have multiple you won't have to worry about this and then name your catalog so let's just name this name this one something um let's say square feed catalog name it something that you'll remember create and view catalog And then you need to connect your uh, pixel. So let's select um, upload products on a schedule, next, and then your data feed URL. All right, and so this is where we're gonna pause for a second and go back to our square feed. So the way we do this is we're gonna go into your Squarespace, so log into Squarespace, and go into your site. So this is your backend um, editor for your Squarespace e-commerce store. Um, you're gonna delete this and you're gonna replace it with this. So copy that, put it here, and hit paste or enter. Okay, it may take a second to load, but once it does, it should look like this. If you right click or double click and hit save as, 
and then you can save it um, in a folder just as is. You can rename it if you want or just leave it as products. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is come back to your square feed and click on, make sure you put your do domain name here if it's not already. Then you would upload it, upload that file that you just saved. And then you're going to have to map the fields. There's really not too much you need to worry about here. The only thing um, that you may want to change is under the brand. It's going to have a static value. Um, if you want to change whatever it defaults to here. Um, I've already been through this, so at first it defaulted to just the, the domain name. And I want the brand name to show up as you know, not a, a URL, but as the actual name of the brand. And then condition new, as long as all your products are new and not used, you can um, keep this the same. And then let's hit upload to Facebook catalog. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to copy this URL and paste it in a new tab, just so you have it on hand. Let's go ahead and copy that again and let's go back here. So your data feed URL is going to be that um, URL that we got over here after we finish. Oh, sorry, where are we at? After we finished uploading and mapping um, here. So we go here, select or paste your URL there. You don't need to add in login details. Select daily and name your file, and you can just leave the default name there. And then change the currency if you're using anything other than US dollars and select start upload. So give that a second, it's going to take a bit to run through all the products depending on how many products you have on there. Alright, once that's done you can hit done. And then you want to go into your product data sources and it should be under there. Select that, go to settings, and just make sure everything is looking good. And yep, it looks good. Um, you can always, if it hasn't worked, or if it, um, you can hit fetch now and see, make sure it's pulling all of those products and that it's pulling them correctly. And then the final thing to check is go back to your website itself, select any product, open your pixel helper, and look at view content. If that's saying everything is okay, um, the only thing missing here is the the quantity, but that's fine. Um, it's not, if it was wrong, again, it would have that yellow warning sign here. But everything is looking great. It's hooked up properly. And now we have our product catalog uploaded. And it will be dynamically updated on a daily basis. So any changes on the website will be reflected in your Facebook catalog. And it's all done automatically. So it takes all the manual work out of it for you. Your Facebook catalog and your Squarespace e-commerce store are now perfectly and automatically synced.